I'm Leah from Printify. Everyone wants their designs looking clean and crisp. Gorgeous design quality means happier customers, which means more profits. Removing the background or creating a transparent background on your image makes it so that only the most important design elements are printed, leaving a clean, fresh look. In this video, we'll show you how to remove a background using various tools. Don't worry, you don't need to be a Photoshop expert, though we'll also tell you how you can remove a background in Photoshop. That's how we roll. But let's start with an easier method. For simple images where the subject is clearly defined, Adobe Photoshop Express is an easy tool to use. And it's free. Once you've created an account, all you have to do is upload an image. And now the background will be automatically removed. From there, you can choose to customize your image further, or you can download it. Easy, right? But what if there's a little more to your image? Maybe the subject isn't so easily recognized. Another option is removing a background with a photo editing software like Photoshop. Let me show you how. Start by opening up an image. You'll see that it's currently being used as the background, which means that we can't make any changes to it. Click the lock icon to unlock it. Next, find the properties menu in your sidebar, scroll down to quick actions, and you'll see remove background. If you don't see the properties menu, Go to Window and make sure that it's checked. Now let's click the button. As you can see, Photoshop does its magic automatically using AI. This method works well for most cases, but it works best if the image is clean without too many excess elements and if it has a lot of contrast between the foreground and background like my image had. This might not always be the case, so let's look at something a bit more complex. In this image, we have multiple things going on. We have a clean background, which is a good starting point. However, there are multiple foreground elements, so Photoshop might have a hard time figuring out what to keep and what to take out. Let me show you how you can get around this problem. Start again by clicking on the lock icon for the layer and remove background. As you can see, both the cat and the dog were selected. For your image, this might be the desired effect, but in my case, I'd like to have just the dog. In order to adjust this, double-click on the mask for the layer. This will open up a new window where you can make adjustments. If I click on the Select tool from the left toolbar, set it to Subtract, and increase the brush size, I can simply paint out the furry photobombing element. In cases where you'd like to add something from the background, you can use the same method by simply switching to Add and painting it in. For me, this looks good, so I'm gonna click OK. My image now looks a lot closer to what I envisioned. However, if I'm real nitpicky about it, and I am, I can notice that the fur of the dog is really rough and not fluffy at all. If I want to see the result more clearly, I can just create a new layer select the Fill tool, make sure I select the color black, fill it in, and place it underneath my main image. Now I can see the effect more clearly. This happens because Photoshop has a hard time differentiating between elements that have fuzzy or blurry edges like hair, leaves, depth of field, etc. There is a way to improve this ever so slightly. If we double click on the mask again, in the left toolbar, you can then locate the Refine Edge Brush tool. Click on it and increase the size. Then just simply paint around the edge of the dog. And when you're done, click OK. You can see that we did improve our situation, but we recommend avoiding images with furry edges overall as it could cause some print issues due to semi-transparent pixels. In most cases, it's better to leave the edges with hard lines, so let me undo the changes. Make sure to also disable the black fill layer. The background removal tool is sure to help you in 90% of cases, but for those remaining 10%, let's look at other ways we can approach removing backgrounds in Photoshop. In this image, we have multiple objects. For the sake of this tutorial, let's imagine we only want to include a few of them. Now, we could do this using the same method we just talked about. 
removing the background, and then just simply painting out the ones we don't want in the mask window. However, there might be a quicker and better solution for these types of situations. Once again, unlock the layer. In the left toolbar, find the Quick Selection tool. Right-click for more options. Here you can choose from a number of ways to select elements, but right now, let's focus on the Object Selection tool at the top. With this tool, you can simply drag the areas you want to select, and it automatically applies the outline. If you want to select multiple areas, simply hold the Shift key and drag. Once you're done, click the mask icon at the bottom of the Layers tab. How cool is that? You might notice that at times the tool might not select or over-select some parts of the object in your image. For example, you can see that the middle of this donut was not removed. In this case, I'll double-click on the layer mask, make sure I'm on the Quick Selection tool, set the mode to subtract, set my brush size accordingly, and simply paint out the zone. Once I'm done, I'll click OK. Now let's look at the final example for more extreme situations. In this image, I'd like to select just the plate with donuts. As you can see, the image is filled with background objects that are in close proximity and stand out. If we were to use the automatic background removal tool or the object selection tool, it wouldn't do the image justice. Let me demonstrate. As you can see, it's just too busy for Photoshop to understand where the correct edges are. For situations like these, we can do this process manually. To do so, navigate to the left sidebar menu and find the Polygonal Lasso tool. With this tool, we're able to simply click around the edges of the object in order to select the area. Now this method does require some time depending on the complexity of the object, so let's skip forward. Once you've done a full lap around the object, click on the starting point and it'll finalize the selection. Then it's just a matter of clicking on the mask icon to show the results. There are dozens of ways to remove backgrounds in Photoshop, but the ones mentioned in this video should work for most situations. Now the final, and a very important step, is to save your image. Beware that transparencies are only supported in PNG format, so to make sure we save it correctly, navigate to File, Export, Quick Export as PNG. If you'd like to try removing a background yourself, but don't have access to Photoshop, GIMP and PhotoP are free image editing programs that allow you to make many of the same edits. We've linked additional tutorials down below so you can learn more about these programs. Now, maybe your focus is elsewhere in your business and you don't have time to edit photos. So that brings us to a different option. Many people hire a graphic designer. A platform like Fiverr is a great place to find a designer for a one-time project. And there you have it. You don't need to be a Photoshop expert to get your perfect design. We hope these were the solutions you were looking for, and if you're ready to create some awesome designs, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks.